All right, guys, this is going to be the tutorial on the uh, Ajax Rescue Tools. They're located on 7001. It's going to be in the middle compartment. Dead space right here is where it's going to be. It's a red box. It says Ajax on it. You can't miss it. So uh, driver's side, middle compartment, right there. All right, so guys, uh, Ajax Rescue Tools, they're pneumatic. I'm going to go over uh, the different components, the assembly, the disassembly, and then obviously operating pressure and uh, tool heads to be used depending on what uh, material that you're going to be uh, cutting. So when you go inside the box, there's two stickers on the inside, they're reflective. Your operating pressures are right here, depending on the chisel tip and what kind of material you're going to try to cut, it tells you exactly your operating PSI, which you are going to be able to increase or decrease on the regulator. Inside the kit, you have the tool itself, the regulator, which is utilized for your uh, primary airline, which is here. And then your three sets of bits, depending on what you're cutting, each bit does something different. This system is designed to run off a of normal standard air if it's pre-lined, or off of an SCBA bottle. 4500 or below, the tool works great. The tool itself has a uh, male end on the bottom, which is your connection point, trigger actuator, and then it has a spring gate as your locking mechanism. On the inside of the tool are uh, ball bearings that lock the tool head into place, and that is your release. All of the small blades have this ring on the bottom. That ring is what goes past the ball bearings and lock into place. So tip goes in, drop the gate, The tip locks in place. To release it, pull back, take your tip out. This tip, which is designed for concrete, you'll notice has uh, grooves that those ball bearings are going to ride into. But it locks in place in the same method. Once in place, pull back. You see that there's retention. Drop your gate, the tip comes out. All right, guys, so basic and simple operation. Take your tip, draw your gate back, lock it in place, test it. Connect your airline. So this is gonna be off a of pre-line. This is coming off the in-house system. Make sure that you're connected. You wanna test fire the tool, hold it up in the air, pull the trigger once. You saw the vibration, that means the tools, the, the bit's locked in place and the tool's gonna uh, uh, properly work. What you do not want to do is sit there and just run the trigger and let it bounce. It's going to cause friction on the inside and eventually you're going to wear and tear uh, the tool. That system is exactly the same as if the SCBA bottle was the primary source of air. So now I'm going to show you guys how to connect a regulator, uh, charge the system off of the uh, pony length of air, and run the tool. Okay guys, so the mainline regulator is going to have two gauges. Your top gauge is going to be for your bottle pressure, and your bottom gauge is how, uh, how many PSI you're going to run off your airline. So primarily, like an SCBA, this regulator is a reducer. On the back side, you can go main line and run uh, a system similar to that long line, which would be permanently connected, or you have your female gate, which is here, which is your airline connection point for your pony length. Uh, standard SCBA threading is going to go inside the bottle. Righty tighty lefty loosey. Try to get your gauges so they marry up the same as your bottle. So if your bottle gauge is facing in one direction, try to get your uh, pressure gauges going the same way so you can check without having to move uh, your orientation. All right guys, so the regulator is connected to the bottle. The bottle is not charged yet which didn't charge the system. Male end to the female end. Lock it in place, give it a little tug. Female end to the male end on the tool. Make sure it locks in place, give it a little tug. And then we're gonna charge the system. Turning the system on at the bottle source. Listen for leaks. Hearing none, crack it all the way. Being able to see your pressures 
We're then gonna go put a tip on. So this is a piercing tip. This is used for concrete. Drop the gate, insert it, make sure it's not gonna slip out. Give it a test fire. You got vibration, you got movement, it's gonna work. So ideally with this system, on one SCBA bottle, continual use for a 4,500 PSI bottle, we're looking at about 15 minutes. So if we're gonna be in a confined space, um, we have to go deep into the woods or whatever to do the extrication, you're gonna to wanna to bring more than one bottle and rotate your bottles out as you deplete them. Uh, we're working on an air car. Uh, it's gonna be a three bottle system with uh, all three bottles connected to the main regulator. So if I get 15 minutes of working air out of one bottle and I have three bottles, I have now 45 minutes of continual use. And as the bottles go down, you can continually uh, rotate them out and cycle. So whether it's mainline air or the SCBA system, this tool works and operates exactly the same. The tips are dependent on what kind of material you're gonna cut. The operating pressure has to do with what material you're trying to cut. At the same time, maintenance. This system is virtually maintenance free other than keeping it clean and utilize a little bit of oil. Once the tool has been oiled, let it dry. There's two spots on the head where you're gonna drop the oil. Make sure it's debris free, dust free, and uh, you put it back in the same function and method that you pulled it out from. Inside the box, there are four cutouts for the regulator and for the tool itself. It's pretty self-explanatory. The hose line goes inside. The large set of bits go on the inside. The two small sets get rolled up and go in the top tray, and you put it away. Um, it's pretty simple. There's no real issues. It's a pneumatic air set. It's no different than using a pneumatic uh, wrench or a pneumatic air gun that you use to uh, take tires off of a vehicle. So uh, Ajax is a reputable company. They, uh, they do amazing work. And all of these bits that we have will cut through concrete, steel, hardened steel, boron steel to include glass. This bit right here is the same as our glass cutter. We could chisel away material, we could punch through. Um, if you ever uh, have any questions, the Ajax website, you can look up on the internet and there's more information about their products. But uh, this will definitely give us more of a uh, window for accessibility for rescue than what we were doing before with just using our cutters, our spreaders, and our uh, sawzall systems that we have. Well, that's all I got for you today. Appreciate your time. If you have any questions on this, come grab me and ask me. And just remember, driver's side, high compartment on 01, and that's where the tools are. Appreciate it. Be safe. Take care.